Several counties are reconsidering burn bans after storms and heavy rain today. News on 6's Caitlin Deggs explains why some counties are still keeping the burns in place, though, while others are letting them expire. County leaders are pretty optimistic about the rain, but some say we'll need several more days of it before they can end the ban. Others say they can expire for now. Rogers County has had some of the worst drought conditions in the state. Even with today's rain, their county commissioners decided to keep the burn ban in place for the next seven days. We're getting some rain, but this is the driest I can ever remember it being. I want to see what's behind this. It, you know, maybe for three days we'd be good, but then we'd need it again. The director of the county's emergency management team says he's worried once the rain stops, the problems will start again. Just because we're getting a little bit of rain right now doesn't change the fact that it could, you know, as soon as the rain stops, the vegetation can dry right back out and create the same problems that we've had, you know, just like over this weekend. Tulsa County decided to let its burn ban expire. They say the forecasted rain will significantly bring down the risk of fire danger. But as of right now, with two to three inches of rain, we anticipate everything being nice and wet. Fire risk is going to be at a minimum. And so we'd, we felt confident that we could go ahead and allow that burn ban to expire. Tulsa County says even though the burn ban is over for at least the next week, it's important to still pay attention and be careful. Even though the burn ban has expired, recognize we are still in a drought situation. We are moving into fall where everything starts going dormant. All the leaves are browning. Grass is all turning brown. You still need to be cautious and careful. And both Rogers and Tulsa counties will reevaluate next Monday. In Tulsa, Caitlin Deggs, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.